Hi, welcome back to Regress to Regrow. This is Jake. Um, I have three packs I'll be opening up today. Um, I've typically been doing non-sports cards. Um, these next three packs are sports cards, and I only feel the need to open them because um, I think they're a very unique collection. At least one of them is. I'll show that off right now, but we'll be opening up two packs of ASU University cards, which I got from Dollar Tree, which most of my cards come from, because as previously stated, I like to buy really cheap cards that no one cares about. But I'm a little interested to see, and I'll show you a couple cards later that I've pulled before. There's no year on this. <clears throat> um, and maybe we'll see a couple cards um, that I've put before in these packs, because I'm not sure if this is a very uh, deep uh, series. And then, just so I can open this up to get rid of, I do want to open up this pack of World Cup USA 94 um, that is entirely in Spanish. Um, at least the cards are. 93. Um, I especially want to open these cards up because I would like to show you, and the, the irony, new. These are not new obviously, but I would like to show you um, what can happen to older cards when they just sit for a very long time um, because these cards like to stick together, which you'll see. And I'm going to use a method I've learned um, to unstick cards um, that has not worked very well with this series in the past. I do have a collection of those cards that I don't really know what I'm going to do with because they are just destroyed. They stick together, but that, enough of that for now. Let's move on to the ASU pack. I have a couple of these I'd like to show off later. Um, these are really uh, retro looking. Um, here is the checklist in case anyone wants to take a quick peek. Feel free to pause. This is 1990, so this is a, a nearly 30-year-old pack of cards. Maybe you'll see some names that you recognize on here. This must have been exciting for people who were going to school at this time. I'm sure these were well-known people that you'd see around on campus. I'm not going to be showing off the back to a lot of these cards as they are very similar. I may actually have been wrong about seeing these people on campus. This looks more like an alumnus series. Come on, buddy. Let's focus here. Come on. just so you can get an idea of what they look like. Um, now, I know they make an LSU series as well, which I have found packs for. Um, I think this is a series that Dollar Tree has stopped carrying, um, but these are available um, on certain websites. Um, the Collegiate series is very neat to me because it has that old school feel to it, literally and figuratively, as this is a very old pack of cards, nearly 30 years old. Typically these aren't the kind of cards I collect. I do um, collect a lot of non-sports cards. Um, there are a couple NFL series that I like, um, retro, um, but typically I don't collect a lot of sports cards. Um, the 90s kind of ruined sports cards collecting for me as it was a very flooded time, um, oversaturated market of sports cards. Here we go again. State Baseball. Collegiate Baseball is not something you hear very much about. I do like to check the back of the wrestler cards because I like to see where they go with their wrestling career. 
there's a very specific someone who you may have seen in the checklist who made a career out of combat sports. But I do have a copy of his card, which I'll be showing here afterwards. Curly Culp. That'll do it for the ASU cards. Before I go into the soccer cards, I do want to show off two of the pulls I had. Um, I don't believe these would be considered any type of rookie cards as they were created um, after um, the post-college careers of these men had kind of started happening. Um, especially this one, which is Barry Bonds. I've never looked up the value for this, as I assume it's nothing like most of my cards are. This was 90, 90, uh, 1990, so he had already started his MLB career. Cool to have though, nonetheless. And then this was a very big surprise to me. Some of you may know him um, as former UFC champion and former pro wrestling champion Dan Severin. This was, this was a very cool find as I did not expect this to happen. And actually, I do have this I'd like to show off. My friend Drew got this for me during WrestleMania weekend a couple of years ago. Oops, this is not going to fit. I did just move and it got damaged, but for all of you at home, I am a huge wrestling fan. And Dan Severn was one of my favorites when I was younger during the NWA invasion of the WWF, which um, I believe was a mockery of the NWO invading WCW, but that's a discussion for a different time. This did get damaged during my move, but that's okay, because I uh, value it nonetheless. This is not something I'd ever try to sell, but this would be a good little companion piece to show off that. Um, yeah, I'm a big fan of Dan Severn, so this was a great pull for me. Again, this goes back to what I had said in my first video. I am not interested in collecting cards of value, of monetary value. Personal value is the game I play, so those are the ASU cards. And I would just like to quickly open up this pack. World Cup. Because I'd like to show to you what happens when old cards sit on the shelf for too long. These do have foils, um, which I do like to collect. However, these get damaged extremely easily because they get stuck together, and in fact, that might be a foil card in the back, but here. So first off, let it focus. This is how to start. This is the entire pack. Just holding on to it by one card. And the trick is, if you ever find yourself compelled to collect cards the way I do, old cards of no value to anyone but yourself, you're supposed to bend them. And you, I assume you heard that cracking very early on. But now, let's see, these are, oh buddy, these are rough. Actually, not as bad as. Actually, these actually came apart pretty easily. I say that now. Oh no, see? Up there. There's some damage. And you're going to hear right here, too. I hate that sound. It's not a sound I like. Look at that damage. You can feel it on the back, too. This guy's got a great mustache. This actually, surprisingly, was one of the easier packs to open. But look, there's damage right there. Um... I've had issues with these packs before, and maybe one day I'll do a video of my damaged card collection, as I always feel guilty throwing these out. So I do still have them. So, thank you very much. That is the end of this video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, otherwise, I will see you next time, and have a great rest of your day.